Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In this uh, video, I will show you how to make a uh, bevel gear in uh, 3D modeling. So this is a little bit uh, intermediate kind of uh, 3D modeling. So let's start. Click uh, on a new window, new file and uh, click OK. So this will take you to the 3D modeling. Now what I will do is I will just uh, create a shaft for the 3D, uh, sorry, bevel gear. So this uh, plane let's click ok and uh, let's make a profile so i will just uh, simply start making the profile and let's these uh, dimensions i will uh, give it later so initially i will just make a rough profile so and then uh, from here these uh, two steps okay so this is our profile and uh, let's make these constraints so let's this point should lie on this curve as well as this point should lie on this curve okay now i'll give the dimensions so let's go to dimensions linear dimension and uh, this should be 5 mm and now we have uh, the end with the 32 mm let's make it as 32 and from this end to this end it is uh, 80 let's make this 80 and then again this is uh, 10 mm and let's make from this edge to the end of the sketch should be 168 68 okay now what i'll do is i'll just give the vertical dimensions now so from this to this it is 90 by 2 and from here to the edge it is 78 by 2 and from this point to this it is 76 by 2 <laughs> and from this point to this point it is a uh, 72 by 2 and from here it is 65 by 2 okay so as you can see here one more concern is required uh, let's make an arc here and uh, from this point to this point let's make an arc and let's keep the distance from here to here it is uh, uh, 36 and 38 that is 30 let's make it as 37 okay so uh, now we have got this uh, profile let's uh, finish this by adding the outer profile okay as you can see here uh, now this profile is uh, ready let's uh, finish the sketch and make it as a revolve so uh, revolve and select a feature curve select this curve and this vector should be on this point as you can see here this is generated so click ok so this shaft is ready now for us and uh, now what I will do is uh, I need to create a bevel gear on this front face so what for that what I will do is I will just go to sketch environment and I will select this sketch plane and let's make two circles one is with a 100 mm diameter and another one is with 170 so this should be in 170 okay so now i will create one line here for our reference and make it as a reference and i will just trim it okay now i'll create a arc arc should lie on these two points as well as the radius should be 65 okay 
let's give it on this side as you can see here um, this is for uh, making a teeth so let's give the dimension from this point to this point sorry to select this edge here yeah. this part to this point it is a 6 and now what I will do is uh, I'll give this dimension this dimension as uh, 15 mm okay now what I will do is I will make a mirror of this curve let's make a mirror where is the mirror okay mirror curve this curve I mirrored with using this as you can see here this teeth is uh, now done let's make a revolve now so what I will do is uh, for uh, revolving um, let's make pattern which is a circular pattern let's select these two curves and the point should be this let's make count and uh, pitch and uh, eight, I need eight counts with a span of 360 so eight counts with a span of 360 and click ok so now this is ready let's trim the extra curves select T and let's trim these unwanted lines so here this is not required just I'm just deleting these okay now this is cleaned now what I will do is I will just finish the sketch as you can see here my first curve is ready so what I will do is I will just offset the plane from here it should be on the opposite direction with a 45, 45 distance click ok now what I will do is I will sketch on this plane so select the sketch and select the plane which I have created now and now what we will do is we will offset this curve I will just select the entire curve at a time sorry offset curve and select the connected curve and select this so it should be in the opposite direction with the, let's make it as 2 3 ok let's make it as 3 mm and click ok and now what I will to do is uh, just uh, hide this and uh, just rotate the curve so select a move curve and select the entire curves and then angle the angle should be 15 degree as you can see here uh, ok the point it is taken as this and let's make this as a point Okay, now it is rotated click ok now we need to finish the sketch as you can see here there are uh, two sketch one is with like this and another this like this that is 25 mm uh, 15 degree tilted so now what I will do is I will just again uh, repeat the same procedure so let's create a plane again so it should be from this point it is 95 let's make on the other side click ok I will go to the same sketch environment and select this plane and now I will project this previous curve I will just hide this and I will just project all offset offset this curve select the connected curve and uh, select this let's make an offset of mm inside ok it can be possible click ok now I will hide this and uh, we need to rotate this so let's make a more curve and uh, select the entire curves and select the point as a midpoint and again rotate it by 30 degree so click ok yes now finish the curve. Now we have three curves 
free sketches with a different different angle and as well as the scale so here what i'll do is i will just so now what we have to do is we have to use uh, through curves command from the surface uh, module so let's go to surface and select the through curves and here what we have to do is i'll just uh, switch off these uh, data planes that is not required it will confuse us so now let's select connected curves and uh, select the curves so zoom it on and you need to select in an order in such a way that the curve which you are selecting should be similar to the sketches so I'll just select this curve and as you can see here it is selected and now click the middle mouse button to select the one more pair so now we will go to the same uh, sketcher line and I'll select this as you can see this the profile is done and now again I'll click the middle button of the mouse and then I'll select this sketch now you can see this uh, the bevel gear has came now click ok so if you want you can just uh, unite these two so now what I will do is I will just hide the sketches now you can see this this is uh, dual care but it didn't came exactly because I uh, not uh, used my use the exact dimensions you can use the dimensions but the procedure to do the dual care is this so please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit a like